you understand when, when, when something's found in the field, you bring it back in jackets. And so until you prepare it, you don't really know what you have. And so they did the right thing here. It, it was it was it was professionally excavated uh, and professionally prepared. So it's it's in very good shape. That's what you want. For a new dinosaur, we were interested as, as to whether or not this animal is an adult. I mean, is, is it going to get any bigger than this, or is, is this a juvenile? And the way we figure that out is uh, we take a little piece off of the bone and make a microscope slide. And then from that, we can project light through it with a microscope. And uh, that's basically what you're seeing here, uh, is the microscope section from this animal. And what this tells us is that, first of all, this animal was very rapidly growing throughout life and at the time that it died. And based on this evidence and also the fact that most of the bones on this animal are not fused together, uh, it suggests that we're dealing probably with a teenager and that this animal stood to get much bigger, perhaps 20, 30 feet long. We, we just don't know until we find more specimens. So this is the skull of our new dinosaur, Eotrachodon orientalis, and it, it means essentially uh, early rough tooth from the east. And uh, Trachodon was a uh, duckbill dinosaur found back in the 1800s. Uh, it was just known from teeth. Uh, the story of this animal's discovery is, uh, is it's pretty neat. It was, it was found by amateurs. Uh, the Birmingham Paleontological Society were out looking for fossils and they, they stumbled upon this incredible dinosaur fossil. They did a great job of excavating it. Uh, so it's, it's a really important creature. Um, it's, it's giving us clues as to how the duckbill dinosaurs radiated around the world. Uh, it also tells us where they radiated from. They, 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 this, this is a southern dinosaur. This is where they came from. And, and from here, they basically took over the world. So it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a very interesting animal. Um, we're very lucky. This is a very complete skeleton. Uh, most dinosaurs are only known from about 15% of the skeleton. And this animal, we know maybe 40, 45% of the skeleton. But, and we have the most important features, which, which are the skull and the hips of it. So, uh, you know, we're going to learn a lot about duckbill dinosaurs, more so than what we've already published uh, from this specimen. So I, I think this is a really a landmark animal in, in, in terms of uh, understanding dinosaur paleontology.